Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, there's no trickery here. I'm just an ordinary bee. And as a bee, honey's pretty important to me. It's important to all bees. We invented it. We make it. And we protect it with our lives. Unfortunately, there are some people in this room who think they can take whatever they want from us because we're the little guys. And what I'm hoping is that after this is all over, you'll see how by taking our honey, you're not only taking away everything we have, but everything we are. Oh, I wish he would dress like that all the time. So nice. Call your first witness. So, Mr. Klaus Vander Hayden of Honey Farms. Pretty big company you have there. I suppose so. And I see you also own Honeybird and Hunron! Yes, they provide beekeepers for our farms. Beekeeper? I find that to be a very disturbing term, I have to say. I don't imagine you employ any bee freers, do you? Uh, no. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. N no. No. Because you don't free bees. You keep bees. And not only that, it seems you thought a bear would be an appropriate image for a jar of honey. Well, they're very lovable creatures. Uh, Yogi Bear, Fozzy Bear, uh, Build-A-Bear? Yeah, you mean like this? <laughs> Bears kill bees! How would you like his big hairy head crashing through your living room, biting into your couch, spitting out your throw pillows? Rawr! Rawr! Okay, that's enough. Take him away. So, Mr. Sting, thank you for being here. Your name intrigues me, I have to say. Where have I heard it before? I, I was with a band called The Police. But you've never been a police officer of any kind, have you? Uh, no, I haven't. No, you haven't. And so here we have yet another example of bee culture being casually stolen by a human for nothing more than a prance-about stage name. Oh, please. Have you ever been stung, Mr. Sting? Because I'm feeling a little stung, Sting. Or should I say, Mr. Gordon M. Sumner? Oh. Not his real name, you idiot! Hey. Oh. Mr. Leota, first may I offer my belated congratulations on your Emmy win for a guest spot on ER in 2005. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I also see from your resume that you're devilishly handsome, but with a churning inner turmoil that's always ready to blow. I enjoy what I do. Is that a crime? Not yet it isn't, but is this what it's come to for you, Mr. Leota? Exploiting tiny, helpless bees so you don't have to rehearse your part and learn your lines, sir? Watch it, Benson. I could blow right now. This isn't a good fella. This is a bad fella. Ah! Oh! Why doesn't someone just step on this little creep and we can all go home? Order. Order in this room. We're all thinking it. Order. Order, I said. Stay here. Yeah. Yeah. 